Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to read Discord.js documentation since it will help a lot of people who don't know how to read it. And I got this idea from a YouTuber. I saw his video on YouTube. I will be leaving the link for his channel in the description. You can go check it out. And now let's hop into the video. Alright, so this is the official Discord.js documents, or like the official Discord.js website for documents we'll go over here. So first let's go to the documentations. And here we see a good uh, looking welcoming page here. And it says everything, and here you got everything you need, literally everything related to Discord.js is here. Alright. So, uh, first of all, let me get my notes here. So, let's say you want to kick someone from a voice channel. Okay, so let's say kick someone from a voice channel. Alright. So, here there is kick. Alright. Someone and a voice channel. Okay, so there is an action. Okay, let me put here action. And there is a user or someone or a person. Person that it is someone. Okay, uh, or I can say a member or user. Let's put user. All right, and there is a place. Okay, where voice channel. So place voice channel. All right. So the user. Is located in your uh, Discord server, all right? So we're gonna say here. Let me type it. The person is located in your guild. That is basically the server. Guild equals server. Okay. So. When the, the user comes to a, a server, he's not called user anymore, he's called a member, alright? So, if the user is in the guild, he, like, he, she is called, um, like, member, alright? So to get a, a member from a guild, that's a guild member, alright, so guild member, see this, let me search for it here, if I scroll a bit down, guild, guild member, as you can see over here, alright, I went to guild member, and to find stuff much much easier, you're gonna just press over here, like let me just go here, anywhere, I'll just put guild member. I'll, I just got it. Fast. Alright. So, there is two things once you get over here to the constructor of the guild member. Alright. There's some parameters. You can check it out with a the description. They say everything. Explain it. So, once you come here or everywhere, you'll see properties and oops what did i do wait i just lagged there you will see properties and you're gonna see methods so what is properties and what is methods all right so properties is like uh, decoration or describe all right it describes something like if there there is a criminal they want to catch or like to jail him, they give the cop who gonna go and get him some uh, information about him. 
so they say like he's wearing a camo uh, jacket uh, with the sunglasses and dread shoes like okay they say stuff that's property so here as you can see like it check if he's bannable it check for his uh, hex color his name his id joined when kickable or no last message id all right all of those stuff his nickname and method is when i do something when the cop actually go and get him okay so here there is a ban D create dm edit flash okay the, all of those stuff there is an action like we're uh, making an action all right so right now let me let me type this down here so properties is like uh descri describe all right i don't know if there is an error knowing that anyways method is an action method is an action so let me type action all right so here we want to check for a voice channel okay so he's is something related to voice so first of all i went to guild member and now I will look into properties because I'm not taking an action I'm just checking here so uh, here if you if you saw there is voice at the end so I'm gonna go there and here there is like there is a description for it over here and if I pressed on it all right to give you more information about it here voice that all right so now we got member dot voice all right and who is member let's define a member if there is a member let's say const member equal uh message dot mentions dot members dot first all right so member dot voice and then we're gonna see here you can also pass in some more parameters as I said over here so now we want to kick him all right so we want to take an action so we're gonna look at methods so I'm there is kick over here so I'm gonna press on kick I went here there is a parameter here that you can pass in and that's the reason can just put like dot kick and, and parentheses and brackets and stuff like that to, for the reason parameter all right so here dot kick if I add it here dot kick I also have to put those okay the parentheses I have to put the parentheses because there is an action we are initiating an action so I have to put the uh, parentheses all right so uh, there's also some other stuff you can take a look at it here maybe let's put a uh, ping because there's examples here you can you might want to see it because it's gonna help you a lot like I recommend uh, checking it out all right the webhooks stuff there is partials because some people don't know what is partials something when we create a new client and you probably saw, saw me using it in the uh, starboard and message delete event uh, and some other stuff you can check it out also this is the stable version if you want to see the master the master have everything they are working on like what what they are working on right now like literally right now is showing here everything is showing here but if you don't want to get yourself confused and want to just work on your bot just check out the stable version everything you need you'll find the search bar over here and that's it everything in discord.js is here so that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it and ciao.